good morning students hope you are all doing well so today we will see one important topic uh, kinetics of a fluid particle reaction system you know heterogeneous reactions are uh, those in which uh, more than one phase is involved to proceed accordingly there may be uh, two phase and uh, three phase reaction system we have already seen about uh, heterogeneous uh, reaction system and how to develop the rate expression for the heterogeneous reaction system you know heterogeneous reaction may be a, a catalytic or non catalytic in catalytic heterogeneous reaction usually the catalyst uh, is a solvent some examples of a catalytic reaction system we know that in uh, particularly which uh, uh, in which a gas solid reactions involved called synthesis of ammonia catalytic cracking of a crude oil oxidation of uh, so2 to so3 in the presence of a uh, vanadium pentoxide catalyst in manufacture particularly in manufacture of uh, sulfuric acid and uh, gas solid reaction system some examples in this case is uh, catalytic oxidation of uh, liquid hydrocarbons uh, using air or ethanol to acetic acid uh, while we are talking about uh, some examples of uh, non catalytic heterogeneous reaction system Uh, under which uh, gas solid reactions uh, some examples are uh, roasting of uh, sulfide wood combustion of coal gas solid rea- gas liquid reactions are chlorination of uh, liquid aromatic hydrocarbons using a uh, chlorine gas and in case of a liquid liquid reaction we have nitrogen uh, nitration of uh, organic components uh, with uh, aqueous nitric acid and in case of a uh, liquid solid reactions we have a production of acetylene by the action of uh, water on uh, uh, calcium uh, carbide so that uh, these are all some important examples we have seen already and we know that uh, concept of uh, rate controlling uh, mechanisms uh, and uh, rate uh, limiting step for the system now we will see about uh, some important aspects uh, involved in kinetics of a fluid uh, particle reaction system at the end of the course you uh, you can easily develop uh, the governing rate expression for the heterogeneous uh, kinetics of a fluid particle reaction system particularly this topic uh, deals with the uh, kinetics of a fluid particle reaction system particularly for the non catalytic heterogeneous reaction in which a gas or liquid is brought in contact with a solid and react with the solid to transform it into a product right okay so uh, we already discussed that uh, gas liquid reaction system and uh, liquid liquid reaction system were uh, immiscible case okay one minute okay so gas liquid reaction system so for the case of a gas liquid reaction system some examples are uh, 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 we have seen already for the case of liquid liquid immiscible reaction system these are all the reactions occurred in the uh, fluid reaction whereas in the case of reactants uh, reactions with a solid state the reactions are uh, liquid which come into contact with the solid substance and react with it and in form a product so the more general expression is given as uh, uh, a of uh, fluid or gas uh, react with uh, liquid or gas react with uh, b of solid uh, will give either a fluid products or solid product or a, a fluid and a, a mixture of a fluid and a solid product so in such a in 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 case of a such reactions we have a uh, two different cases to consider one is the particle sizes remains unchanged right so these are all some examples of a uh, fluid particle reactions which is highly industrial importance so roasting of sulfide ores where zns react with uh, uh, oxygen will give a product of 2 zno plus 2 o2 and in case of a metal uh, metals from oxide so we have a such reactions and combustion of coals uh, we have and uh, metal layer deposit deposits of hydrogen protected these are all certain uh, important industrially important uh, reactions 
so comes under the category of uh, fluid particle interaction so in the absence of uh, catalyst so let me see the uh, two important cases two important model we must know while we are developing a, a you know uh, governing equations or rate expression for the kinetics of a fluid particle reaction system we must see the two different solid uh, fluid reaction system one is the particle size remains unchanged okay the particle size remains unchanged during the course of reaction another one is the particle uh, size changes with the progress of the reaction the particle sizes changes with the progress of the reactions so the particle size remains unchanged during the reaction in a solid fluid reaction when it will happen a solid particles contain large amount of remember a solid particle contains large amount of inert material okay which remain as a non flaking ash or a firm product material is formed by the reaction uh, 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 as compared to the previous reaction you see uh, this this uh, this case of reactions so when a firm product material is formed so some examples of roasting of sulfide ore and reduction of metal oxide uh, the particle size uh, with the case of uh, the second case you see the particle size changes with the progress of a reaction that is the particle decreases in size that is a shrinks during the course of reaction until it disappears in a fluid particle reaction this will happen when a flaking ash or product material is formed or the other case pure solid pure solid is used in the reaction so some examples are the production of carbon di uh, sulfide from elements some carbon di sulfide from elements some examples are production of carbon di sulfide from elements cs plus uh, s c plus s gives cs2 and uh, the production of water gas by the action of a steam or coal or the burning of a pure carbon in uh, air these are all some examples comes under uh, fluid particle reaction when the particle size is changing during the course of the reactions we just look at uh, the figure uh, you know different uh, shots of behavior of a reacting solid in which uh, in which a fluid solid reaction occurs so the first case demonstrated by this pictorial representation where initial unreacted core unreacted particle is there when a fluid or a solid come into contact uh, fluid is come into contact with this uh, this particle uh, during the course of the time the 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 particle is converted uh, you can see you can see this conversion of a particle by uh, varying their color so the particle reacted the part it, it is considered as a partially reacted particle and uh, you see the complete react, reacted particle the final particle must be a uh, hard a firm or unchanged in size so you just look at during the uh, course of the reaction during the uh, when time increases the particle sizes remains unchanged whereas in the case of a particle sizes changing during the course of the reaction so initial particle initial unreacted particle is there when uh, uh, reaction occur uh, some flaking ash or gaseous product uh, uh, may come and uh, so the particle sizes shrinks during the course of uh, reaction and finally it will uh, disappear so these are all some pictorial representation uh, for the particle size is changing during the course of the reactions next is uh, it may be a described by a simple two ideal models one is progressive conversion model another one is shrinking core model while we are talking about uh, kinetics of a fluid particle reaction system uh, the selection of a kinetic model is very much important so every conceptual picture or model describing the progress of a reaction has its own mathematical representation otherwise called uh, its rate equation therefore if we select a model we have to accept is its a rate equation and vice versa if a model matches closely with what really takes place then its rate equation will closely predict and describe the actual kinetics of the 
reaction whereas if a model differs widely from what really takes place then its rate equations will be useless so it is worthless to select a model which involves too many mathematical complications even though it is very closely mirrors reality so one has to select a model which is the closest uh, rep representation of a reality and at the same time which can be treated without too many mathematical complexities so kinetic model that can be described with a relatively very simple equations so we do have here so many kinetics models of course have been developed for the progress of a reaction uh, within the so single solid particle to describe the progress of a non catalytic reactions of uh, particles with the surrounding fluids we consider the most commonly used types namely the progressive conversion model and the shrinking core model simply we can call shrinking unreacted core, uh, core model uh, in in the case of progressive conversion model you know let us call as pcm and shrinking core model we let us call as scm right so when we are uh, dealing with a progressive conversion model uh, this model certain limitations and assumptions are there uh, this model that is a pcm model assumes that the reactant gas entering and reacts through the particle at all times so that that means a reaction proceeds continuously throughout the particle the rate of the reaction is different at different locations within the particle okay the rate is different and with the different locations within the particle hence the whole particle is continuously and progressively converted into the product okay so uh, uh, which uh, which shows the how uh, the concentration of the solid reactant changes the, through the solid particle at different uh, instant after uh, the onset of the reaction if the product it is itself uh, is a firm solid the particle size remains unchanged but if the product is volatile or flaking the particle size decreases until it disappears it consists of of course uh, these are all uh, the limiting assumptions solid particle are uh, mono uh, dispersed and uh, spherical we have a pseudo, pseudo stationary phase we have a first order chemical reaction rate is not dependent on the concentration of the solid effective diffusion coefficients and coefficient of mass transfer are not changing during the reaction so these are all uh, some uh, limiting uh, assumptions uh, uh, when we are dealing with a uh, while we are dealing with the progressive conversion model so remember that this model assumed that uh, the reactant gas enters and reacts throughout the particle at all times okay so the rate of reaction is a different at a different location within the particle so next we move on to shrinking core model uh, shrinking unreacted core model let us call so in this model assumes that the reaction first begins at the outer surface of the solid particle and the deeper layers do not take part in the reaction until all the outer layer has transformed into solid or a gaseous product so gradually the reaction zone then uh, moves inward into the solids constantly reducing the size of the core of unreacted solid and leaving behind completely converted solid product and some inert material if there so you can you can see here uh, this is the sketch of uh, solid particle this is the sketch of this is the sketch of solid particle and uh, concentration profile of the solid reactant when uh, un, uh, unchanging size the shrinking core model according to the shrinking core model so uh, this is the low conversion where wherein you can see the unreacted core model so outermost particle will take part of the reaction during the course of the reaction some uh, either ash layer or uh, some firm product is formed uh, uh, around the unreacted core so the concentration profile is clearly explained when there is a low conversion we have a, a wide concentration uh, profile and in case of a uh, during the course of reaction the concentration profile shrinks during the uh, course of the reactions so we refer to a converted solid and the inert material as ash in this case 
an unreacted code of a solid continuously decreases in size or shrinks uh, in size during the course of the reaction until it's entirely consumed okay so at any uh, given instant of time the solid particle comprises of a core uh, surrounded by an envelope the core is the unreacted reactant so this model is referred to as shrinking unreacted core model the envelope consists of a solid product and inert material okay so as the shrinking core model has been reported to approximate closely a uh, number of fluid solid reaction let us develop uh, let us develop its kinetic equation for rough fixed as well as variable size particle so in doing this we consider the surrounding fluid surrounding fluid this surrounding fluid uh, this is the solid you know the surrounding fluid okay uh, consider uh, to be a gas and the particle size is a spherical particle we of course having uh, irreversible reaction between the gas and the solid right so you must uh, keep in mind in this analysis that follows we consider surrounding fluid to be a gas but we must keep in mind that the analysis given below the analysis uh, you know uh, we are going to see is appreci appreciably equal well to the liquids right so uh, in uh, forthcoming classes we are going to develop uh, shrinking core the kinetics of shrinking core unreacted core model okay so thank you very much for your attention so we do have uh, two important kinetic model one is progressive conversion model for the developing kinetics of a fluid particle reaction system and another one is shrinking unreacted core model so we are going to consider only in this in this chapter we are going to consider only shrinking unreacted core model because it is closely approximate uh, closely you know approximately close to the number of uh, fluid solid reactions so that we are going to develop a rate expression and a governing equation for shrinking unreacted core model uh, thank you very much uh, for your time we will meet uh, during next class thank you